Hey YouTubers, this is American Samurai. Today I'm taking you back to the past. Do not adjust your monitors. This is supposed to be in black and white, folks. Because today we're taking a look at the Out of the Inkwell DVD Vintage Cartoon Collection. Out of the Inkwell grew out of an early experiment conducted by Max Flasher with his invention, the rotoscope. This device consisted of a film projector an easel through a glass covered opening the animator could trace live action images being projected though the intent was solely to improve the fluidity of movement the animators and rotoscope fire, fired Fletcher's imagination using his brother dave then working as a clown in coney island as a rotoscope model max created the series called out of the inkwell uh, basically the series would involve the clown who would be referred to as the Inkwell Clown for a good chunk of the shorts. Not until the, I believe, the final two, uh, which happened in 1925 and 96, was, or 25 and 26, respectively. Um, Coco in Toyland and the good old summertime where you were, where the clown would get the name. Uh, this, the shorts on here are The Tantalizing Fly from 1919, The Ouija Board from 1920, The Clown's Little Brother also from 1920, Perpetual Motion, Perpetual, Perpetual Motion, 1920, Modeling, 1921, Bubbles, 1922, Toyland, 1925, uh, Coco and Toyland, 1925, and Good Old Summertime, 1926. And the first few uh, first few cartoons featuring Betty Boop, Coco and Bimbo acted as sort of her sidekicks. According to this, Coco was completely phased out after 1934. Um, three cartoons on here are Betty Boop's Coo uh, Coochoo, Betty Boop's Crazy Inventions, and Is My Palm Red, which um, Coco was in there and acts as a sidekick, though the main focus is to be as Bimbo as the leading man. Overall, these cartoons were enjoyable. I found them very entertaining. While not laugh out loud funny, they're still an interesting concept. If you're curious about what cartoons were like uh, back in the past, I highly recommend checking out this collection. I won't give this a 5 out of 5, but I'll give it a 3 out of 5. I'd say if you're curious, check it out and spend a little time past as we go out of the inkwell. So next time, this is American Samurai saying have a pleasant and safe day. And as they'd say in the old days, good night, Mr. and Mrs. International, wherever you are. Yes, I modernized it. Good night, everybody.